So hi, just back from a client trip up in Alaska. Welcome to another Feature Friday. We're going to talk about how to put assets under warranties. So we got our Maximo hat on, just a couple of clicks. Let's get right to it. So first of all, I'm going to use the Manage application within the new application suite for this. But the functions are the same as in legacy 7.6 versions of Maximo. The first step is to create warranty type contracts within the contracts module. For example, your assets have a one-year manufacturer's warranty. You can describe the details of this kind of warranty within a warranty contract. So go ahead and create your new contract record. Make the vendor the manufacturer. Set the start and end dates. Then make a single contract line that describes the warranty. Go ahead and approve the contract and don't forget to authorize the sites. Then on the associated assets tab, guess what? You choose the assets in your system that are covered under this warranty. And that's pretty much it. An approved contract that has start and end dates and assets that are related to it. So how do you know that an asset is under a warranty? Well, there's three ways. The first way is on the asset record itself you can use the View Contracts action. The second way is when you create a new work order and select the asset. You will get a message that says it is under warranty. The third way is also on the work order. Scroll down and you'll see that the Warranties Exist slider or checkbox is now set. This logic does not stop the work order from progressing at all. Now your work teams know that an asset is under a warranty and they may change what they do as a result. Very easy. So that's it. By capturing the cost of warranty work or even stopping that work can save your company a lot of money. So thank you very much for watching. We'll see you again next week.